What happens to tires when they die? Well, most end up in landfills, illegal dumps, unwanted stockpiles or burnt, which then leads to numerous forms of pollution, which then destroys the environment and poisons plants and animals, which negatively impacts on all of us, which is not something any of us wants. Tires are a perfect example of an unmanaged waste stream. Luckily, it doesn't have to be like that. Redisa is leading the way towards a conscious industry. One that takes care of itself and the market it sells its products to by managing the waste stream created by the products it develops. For a sustainable and conscious industry that converts waste into worth, each player in the life cycle of a product needs to work together to minimize any negative environmental and socio-economic impact, maximize the life of the product and extract as much value as possible during the whole process. From design to production, distribution to recovery, disposal to recycling, Redisa connects everyone to get tires moving in the right direction and ensure the waste stream is efficiently managed. To make sure there's a measurable standard for each stage of the waste stream, eventually everybody involved will get an environmental rating, which is split into three parts. A life cycle extension for maximizing the product's useful life, a life cycle analysis which measures things like carbon footprint, health and socio-economic impact, ease of recycling and efficiency of raw material recovery. And a collaboration factor which rates the willingness and ability of each industry player to work together with Redisa and other industry members. Let's now take a look at how the Redisa Integrated Industry Waste Tire Management Plan actually works. Importers and manufacturers subscribe to the Redisa plan and are charged a fee per kilogram of tires they put on the road. This fee is then distributed to different operational elements of the Redisa plan. Dealers are responsible for registering themselves to be put on the map of waste tire collectors and transporters. The benefit for them is that they neither get bogged down with waste tires nor pay to have them removed and processed. Transporters then play the next important role in the plan. A typical day for them would include receiving an SMS, which gives them the details of the next load of tires to be collected and the option to accept or decline the offer. If for any reason they don't accept the offer, it goes to the next best suited transporter based on location and load type. If the transporter answers yes, both the dealer and the depot are notified. When they pick up a load from a dealer, all the necessary details are verified and they can then move on to the depot. At the depot, the load is verified again and the transporter receives payment electronically. The load then gets bailed and stored in preparation for recycling. The result is the formalizing of an informal industry, providing opportunities for generating a sustainable income and spreading practical business skills through grassroots training. The entire Redisa systemized process is overseen and audited by KPMG, an independent and impartial assessor that ensures transparency and accountability. Find out how Redisa affects you and how you can get involved at www.redisa.org.za.